okay. Three, consider the situation below. Then answer each of the following question. Okay, Zin Tan wants to plant banana and papaya trees on a large plot of land of 80 hectare. Okay, he hires 360 workers with capital at least 24,000. He uses X hectare of land to plant banana. So, X to plant banana and Y hectare to plant papaya. Okay, so this one will have to plant by your trees. Every hectare planted with banana tree, so banana will be supervised by tree worker. So six worker will supervise every hectare of papaya. The cost to maintain the banana trees is 800 per hectare. So the cost to maintain banana trees, so this one is cost of banana is 800. Cost banana is 800. And cost to papaya, papaya tree is 300. Okay. A. Identify the constraint in the above problem. So, what constraint that he need to follow? So, first we see, of course, hectare. He has a limit of land. So, the land is 80 hectares. So, we see here what I said. Okay, this one is, this one is not a constraint, right? So, we say that uh, he hires 360 workers, so he must have 360 workers. And then capital at this 24, 7. And it mentioned that capital of ca capital of RM 24, 7. So this is the constraint mentioned in this one. So about the land is 80 hectare, so 300 workers and capital is 24,000. B. Form a mathematical model related to the problem above. So B. Mathematical reason. So we know that we has 80 hectare, right? So 8 hectare for banana and Y hectare for papaya. So we know that the land is 80 hectare. So the number of hectare used by banana and papaya cannot exceed 80 hectare. So here we know that X plus Y. So it can be smaller or equal 80 hectare. Alright. Okay. So now 360 worker. So you say that... 3 worker for banana and 6 worker for papaya where the worker is 360 right so he hires 360 worker with capital of this one so 360 means it cannot exceed 360 so here 3 3 for banana right banana is x so we know that 3x plus Papaya is 6y is smaller than is smaller than berapa tadi is smaller than 360 worker alright and then we are talking about capital so capital it mentioned at least at least is larger okay so larger we see here So, capital, you see 24,000. So, at least is larger. So, capital to maintain. So, it's mentioned about the price to maintain banana trees is 800 and papaya tree is 300. So, banana is X, right? So, 800X plus papaya is Y, 300Y is larger than 24,000. So B, we have X plus Y is smaller than 80. 3X plus 6Y is smaller than 360. And 800X plus 300Y is smaller than 24,000. 
So C represent each mathematical model obtained in B graphically. So we have x plus y is smaller than 80, right? So we need to have two points to draw. So here you can just draw it like this. I mean, but the easier way is that you just let y in front first so you know which area to shade. Okay, so this one y is here smaller than x is negative x plus 80. So this is the inequalities. But to draw, you need to use line. So y is equal to negative x plus 80, right? So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 80. You see this one 0. When y is equal to 0, negative x plus 80. So here you get x is equal to 80. So this one you get the point of 0, 80. And here you get the point of 80, 0. When you have two points, then you can sketch the graph. So you see here 80, 80. So here make sure it can fit in your graph and don't make it too small i mean if the real one but this one is a model obtained right so this one 80 80 so i'm going to do 20 20 each so 20 40 60 just a bit more this one is 80 and this one also is 20 40 60 and 80 right this one is x and this one is y so here we have 0 80 so 0 80 is here and we have 80 0 which is here so supposed to use a ruler to make a straight line so you had a straight line. you are supposed to get a straight line okay so when you have a straight line you know that this one is y is equal to negative x plus 80 right but the area this one with inequalities you see here smaller than so smaller than means it's facing down so we have two area which is one and two right you see here this one is facing up smaller mean facing down so if you have a straight line okay it's supposed to be a straight line okay so got spacing down is this area so this is the area this is the area where y is smaller then negative x plus 80. But this one is also correct. This one is also equal to x plus y is smaller than 80. To make it this way, okay, you see that this one is smaller, smaller than, but this one is also okay. This one like much easier. Lah. So, I mean, just to help you in case you have negative here, if you have negative here, uh, I afraid that you will make a mistake of uh like shading the different area okay so this one is done so this one 3x plus 6 y is smaller than 360 but you see here your y is positive so you know that you see, you just you know why it's positive and you so it's smaller than so it's facing down. So this one is facing down. So you need to have two points so the line can be found by using the equal sign. Okay. So here when x is equal to zero, here x is equal to zero, so we get six y is equal to three hundred sixty, y is equal to sixty, right? Three hundred sixty divided by six. So when y is equal to 0, 3x is equal to 360. So what is this? So x is equal to 360 divided by 3. So here we get 120. So we have two points here, which is here 0, 60. And here we have 120 and 0. So we see here x is 0 to 120. This one is 0 to 60. So we can make it. This one we can x 30, 30 also can. 40, 40. 40 40 is too small so just make it so any skill that you wanted to use as long as it is fit in so i just make 20 40 60 80 this one is 100 and this one is 120 right okay so this one for my y i have up until 60 so this one is 20 30 60 okay so we have this one so 060 
So 0, 60 is here, this one is Y, this one is X And this one is 120, 0, 120, 0 is here So basically you just make a straight line using your ruler, okay So this one is supposed to be a straight line So this line is equal to Y This one is equal to 3X plus 6Y is equal to 360 so you see here smaller than that means it's facing down so here is facing out so facing down is this way okay so this one x hundred x plus three hundred y is smaller than twenty four thousand so here you can make it give up by hundred so you have eight x plus three y is smaller than two hundred forty so here, just because I want to make the graph easier to draw, so here we know that this is the inequalities, and we can see that y is positive and is uh, so smaller than, so it's facing down. Okay. So to make a to make a line to make the graph, we need to make the equal sign two hundred forty. So here, when x is equal to zero. 3y is equal to 240 y is equal to 240 divided by 3 so here we get 80 right so this one okay so this one okay this one is 80 so have when y is equal to 0 here we have 8x is equal to 240 so x is equal to 240 divided by 8 so here we get 30 so we have 2.080 and this one is 30 0 1 so this one is 0 80 and this one is 30 Zero. So this one is okay. So for x up to thirty. So just want to make it this one, which is ten, twenty, thirty, and then this one is up until eighty. So basically, I want to make twenty, twenty. So twenty, forty, sixty. Okay, this one supposed to be eighty, right? So zero eighty. So zero eighty is here. Thirty zero is here. So here use ruler to make a straight line. So use ruler, alamak. So use ruler to make a straight line. So this straight line is actually represented by this one. So here, this one is the line, right? Which we want to represent. So this one is represented by the line is this is equal sign. This one is 800x plus 300y is equal to 24,000 but to know which area to be shaded you see here smaller than facing down so here facing down okay just now at least 24,000 so I think I wrongly copy this supposed to be larger or equal so this one larger or equal so this one is facing up so you see here it's very dangerous when you make a mistake so here facing up so facing up so it's supposed to be this area okay so the graph here which is this area so you see here once you make a mistake here so you also make a mistake here all right